Hello, and welcome back to another Unity Tiny video. I'm super excited about this video series, where we will be making a 2D platformer in Unity Tiny to run on HTML5. If we go into our Unity Tiny project, I already have this project opened up, and we can take a look at what I've done to create this project. Going on to our new entity group, you can see that I have a camera, a collider for my tile maps, and Unity Tiny at the moment, the tile maps does not support physics directly, so you have to overlap your colliders onto where you draw your tile maps. You can see I have my background layers, which I have three of each one, so that we have a nice cycle of images going across, so that we can easily cycle them while moving through the game to give a nice parallax effect, which isn't set up yet, but it's future-proofing to be easier later on. You can then see we have our tile map background, which is the bridge, the bush, and the fence, and the little spike traps. Then we have our platform, which is where you're actually going to be standing at, and the tile map foreground, which is the grass over the ground. Then on our player, you'll see that we have a transform component, a player input component, an animation component, a movement, a flip scale, box collider 2D, rigid body 2D with a dynamic body type, and a velocity 2D component. If we open our player up, you'll see that I have an idle animation with a sprite renderer, a sprite 2D sequence, and a sprite 2D sequence player. The same for the run animation, but with different sprites to perform the run animation. So, now that I have shown you pretty much everything that this game is using to work, we can go ahead and open up a new project so we can start to code this ourselves. Going into our Unity Hub, I'll just go ahead and create a whole brand new project from scratch to start with you. We'll go to New, and then here we'll type the name of our project. We'll name it Tiny Projects because you can actually just create new tiny projects within the same project. If I was to go to Tiny File New Project and then type a name for our project, we'll say Sample Plat for Sample Platformer. We're not going to be using this, it's just to show it off. And click Save. You can see that. We have Sample Plat along with multiple other games like Platformer and all the tiny samples. And all you have to do is click on Sample Plat or Platformer or whatever the name of your project is and it will load between new projects. But we're going to start from a brand new Unity 3D project in case you're not sure how to import Unity Tiny. So we'll go ahead and call the project Tiny Pro. I'll actually call mine YouTube Tiny or Tiny YouTube. We'll make it a 2D template. We'll go ahead and create our project. Move this out of the way. Close out of this. Move this over here. We'll wait for Unity to load up our game. Once Unity loads up your new project, go ahead and go to the Package Manager, show all packages, then look for Unity Tiny after showing the preview packages. If you don't want to look for it, you can just type in Tiny, and you'll see Tiny Mode. Do not install 14.2 because there is currently a bug in the install for that version at the time of recording for this video. So switch your install version to 14.1 unless you are confirmed that 14.2 is fixed or a newer version is released. So we'll install 14.1. Now that we have Tiny Mode installed in our Unity project, we can go ahead and go to Tiny, File, New Project. We'll name our project Platformer. Click Save. Allow access if that pops up on your screen. And then make sure your platformer is open, which it should be. 
but just in case. Now that it is open, you'll see that it gives us a default camera with a camera component. And then if we go into our platformer settings, we can look at various things like the modules that our game will be using. You can leave these all checked how they currently are, because if it is not using a module, when you go to add it on your component, let's just try something. We'll do a rigid body. I don't think we're using physics right now. We might have been. Yeah, we already were. So we'll add a particle and see if it auto adds that to the module. Particle emitter. Now if we go back into platformer, look here, you'll see that we're now using the particles component. Then after seeing that the Unity Tiny Particles is added, we can just go ahead and turn that back off and remove this family. Go back and make sure it's still turned off. Good, it is. And we can go ahead and start making our project which I will do in the next video, where we will be drawing the map with the tile map renderer components. Then after that, we will be applying movement and jumping to our character. Later, we'll be doing the jump animation for the character, and a few more things down the line.